a true friend unbosoms freely, advises justly, assists readily, adventures boldly, takes all patiently, defends courageously, and continues a friend unchangeably. Right is right, even if everyone is against it, and wrong is wrong, even if everyone is for it. I expect to pass through life but once. If therefore, there be any kindness I can show, or any good thing I can do to any fellow being, let me do it now, and not defer or neglect it, as I shall not pass this way again. True silence is the rest of the mind, it is to the spirit what sleep is to the body, nourishment and refreshment. Speak properly, and in as few words as you can, but always plainly, for the end of speech is not ostentation, but to be understood. No pain, no palm, no thorns, no throne, no gall, no glory, no cross, no crown. Death is but crossing the world, as friends do the seas, they live in one another still. A good end cannot sanctify evil means, nor must we ever do evil that good may come of it. Men are generally more careful of the breed of their horses and dogs than of their children. This is the comfort of the godly, the grave cannot hold them, and they live as soon as they die. For death is no more than turning us over from time to eternity. Nothing does reason more right, than the coolness of those that offer it, for truth often suffers more by the heat of its defenders, than from the arguments of its opposers. Justice is the insurance which we have on our lives and property. Obedience is the premium which we pay for it. He who is taught to live upon little owes more to his father's wisdom than he who is a great deal left to him owes to his father's care. Much reading is an oppression of the mind, and extinguishes the natural candle, which is the reason of so many senseless scholars in the world. This is the comfort of friends, that though they may be said to die, yet their friendship and society are, in the best sense, ever present, because immortal. Between a man and his wife nothing ought to rule but love. Authority is for children and servants, yet not without sweetness. Tis admirable to consider, how powerful the kings are, yet they move by the breath of their people. He that has more knowledge than judgment, is made for another man's use more than his own. For disappointments, that come not by our own folly, they are the trials or corrections of heaven, and it is our own fault, if they prove not our advantage. Not to be provoked is best, but if moved, never correct till the fume is spent, for every stroke our fury strikes, is sure to hit ourselves at last.